Hey there, space enthusiasts. It's Much Adventure here, and this is my countdown of the top 10 space missions of all time. From the earliest days of space exploration to the most recent missions, we'll be taking a look at the most incredible and groundbreaking achievements in the history of human spaceflight. So sit back, relax, and get ready to blast off on a journey through the greatest moments in space history. Coming in at number 10 is the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter is a spacecraft that was launched by NASA in 2005 to study the surface and atmosphere of Mars from orbit. The orbiter carries a variety of scientific instruments, including cameras and spectrometers, to gather data on the geology, climate, and the potential for humans to live on Mars. One of the key achievements of the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter mission was the discovery of evidence of liquid water on the surface of Mars. The orbiter has also provided valuable information about the history and evolution of Mars, including the presence of ancient lakes and river systems, and the role of water in shaping the planet's surface. This has important implications for the potential for life on the planet, as water is considered to be a key ingredient for life as we know it. Overall, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has greatly expanded our knowledge of Mars and continues to provide valuable data for the future exploration of the Red Planet. Coming in at number 9 is actually two missions, but I'm going to lump them into one mission here, and that is the Pioneer 10 and 11 missions. The Pioneer 10 and 11 missions were unmanned space missions launched by NASA in the early 1970s. Pioneer 10 was launched in 1972, and Pioneer 11 was launched in 1973. The Pioneer missions were important because they were the first spacecraft to fly through the asteroid belt and visit the outer planets, including Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto, which back then was a planet. Sorry Pluto. Pioneer 10 was the first spacecraft to fly past Jupiter, providing us with our first close-up views of the gas giant and its moons. It also discovered new moons and rings around Jupiter, and measured the planet's magnetic field and radiation levels. Pioneer 11 flew past Jupiter and Saturn, giving us even more detailed views of these planets and their moons. It was also the first spacecraft to fly past Saturn, and it discovered a new moon and a new ring around the planet. Originally designed as a 21-month mission, what's incredible about Pioneer is that it actually ended up going for 30 years, all the way until 1997 when NASA officially ended the mission. But what's even more incredible than that is Pioneer 10 sent its final signal in 2003. Coming in at number 8 is the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope is a powerful telescope that was launched into orbit around Earth in 1990. It was designed to take high-resolution images of distant objects in space, allowing us to study the universe in unprecedented detail. One of the key reasons the Hubble Space Telescope was so important is that it allowed us to see further and more clearly than ever before into the universe. Its location in space above Earth's atmosphere means it's not affected by the blurring effects of our atmosphere allowing it to take sharp, clear images of distant objects. The Hubble Space Telescope has made many important discoveries, including the existence of dark energy, which is causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate. It also provided us with stunning images of distant galaxies, nebulae, and other cosmic objects, giving us a glimpse into the beauty and complexity of the universe. The amazing success of the Hubble Space Telescope paved the way for the development of the James Webb Space Telescope. Truth be told, the James Webb Space Telescope probably deserves a spot on this list, but let's save that for another video. Coming in at number 7 is the International Space Station, the ISS. The International Space Station is a collaborative project between NASA, the Russian space agency Roscosmos, and other space agencies like the ESA from Europe and also the CSA from Canada. It is a habitable artificial satellite that orbits Earth, serving as a microgravity and space environment research laboratory. The ISS was constructed in pieces that were launched into space and assembled over the course of several years. It began operation in November 2000 and has been continuously occupied ever since. The ISS is important for a number of reasons. It allows scientists and researchers from around the world to conduct experiments in microgravity, which can provide valuable insights into a range of fields, 
including biology, physics, and materials science. It also serves as a testbed for developing technologies that will be needed for future space exploration missions. But most of all, the ISS is a symbol of international cooperation and a demonstration of what humanity can achieve when we work together. It represents the ongoing pursuit of knowledge and exploration and the never-ending quest to push the boundaries of what is possible. Coming in at number 6 is Apollo 13. The Apollo 13 mission was launched on April 11, 1970 with the goal of landing on the moon. However, the mission was cut short when an oxygen tank explosion crippled the spacecraft, putting the lives of astronauts in danger. Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. We've had a main beam on Thunderbolt. Roger, main beam Thunderbolt. Okay, stand by at 13, we're looking. The crew, consisting of Jim Lovell, Fred Hayes, and Jack Swigert, had to improvise and use their limited resources to fix the damaged spacecraft and find a way back to Earth. Despite the challenges, the crew was able to make it back safely, thanks to the hard work and ingenuity of the NASA team on ground. The Apollo 13 mission is considered a successful failure as it tested the limits of the spacecraft and the team's ability to handle crises in space. It also demonstrated the value of teamwork and the importance of backup plans in space exploration. And of course, this mission eventually went on to become that famous film in 1995, Apollo 13. Coming in at number five is the Mars Curiosity Rover. The Mars Curiosity Rover is a car-sized robotic spacecraft that was launched by NASA in 2011 as part of its Mars Science Laboratory mission. Curiosity landed on Mars in August 2012 and has been exploring the planet's surface ever since. The rover's mission is to explore the Gale Crater on Mars and to determine if the planet was ever capable of supporting microbial life. It's equipped with a variety of scientific instruments including a laser firing spectrometer, a camera, and a drill. Curiosity has made many important discoveries on Mars including the detection of organic molecules, the presence of methane in the atmosphere, and the existence of ancient lake beds on the planet's surface. It's also taken stunning images of the Martian landscape, providing us with a unique glimpse of the red planet. Originally designed as a two-year mission, Curiosity, as of the recording of this video, is still operating on Mars as a total of 10 years, 131 days. 12, 11, 10, 9. Coming in at number four, is the Apollo 8 mission. Four, three, two, one, zero. We have commit, we have, we have the The Apollo 8 mission was the second manned space flight in the United States Apollo program. Launched on December 21st, 1968, the mission was the first to send astronauts beyond Earth orbit and to another celestial body. The spacecraft, consisting of a command module and a lunar module, was crewed by Frank Borman, James Lovell, and William Anders. The astronauts orbited the moon 10 times over the course of 20 hours, becoming the first humans to see the far side of the moon. The mission was a major milestone in the U.S. space program, demonstrating the feasibility of landing on the moon and paving the way for the subsequent Apollo 11 mission, which landed on the lunar surface. The astronauts also made history by transmitting the first live television broadcast from space, which was watched by millions of people around the world. And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth. Coming in at number three is Sputnik 1. Sputnik 1 was the first artificial satellite to be launched into orbit. Launched by the Soviet Union on October 4th, 1957, it was a small spherical spacecraft about the size of a beach ball. Sputnik 1 was launched as part of the Soviet space program which was in a race with the United States to explore space. Its launch was a major milestone, demonstrating the Soviet Union's technological capabilities and sparking the beginning of the space race. Sputnik 1 orbited the Earth for three months, transmitting radio signals back to Earth. Its successful launch and orbit paved the way for future space exploration, including the eventual landing of humans on the moon. 
Today, Sputnik 1 is remembered as a historic achievement and a symbol of the beginning of the space age. The number two greatest space mission of all time belongs to the Voyager 1 and 2 missions. Technically two separate missions, the Voyager 1 and 2 launched 15 days of each other. Being exactly identical to each other, the Voyager 1 and 2 missions were unmanned space missions launched by NASA in 1977 to study the outer solar system and beyond. Both spacecraft carried a variety of scientific instruments to study the planets, moons, and other objects they encountered on their journey. Voyager 1 flew past Jupiter and Saturn, giving us our first close-up views of these gas giants and their moons. It also discovered new moons, rings, and other features of these planets. Voyager 2 flew past Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, making it the first spacecraft to visit these outer planets. It also discovered new moons, rings, and provided the first close-up view of these distant worlds. Both Voyager spacecraft continued on their journey out of the solar system. And amazingly, as of the recording of this video, they are still transmitting daily back to planet Earth. NASA scientists are hoping they can keep both probes going until 2027, which would be the 50th anniversary of its launch. The problem is plutonium-238, which is the radioisotope that powers the probe's generators, has a half-life of about 88 years, which means that it is slowly losing its power. And the number one space mission of all time. I am sure that you guys saw this coming. I'm positive you saw this coming, especially if you haven't seen it yet on the list. But the number one space mission of all time belongs to the Apollo 11 mission. That's one small step for man. The Apollo 11 mission was the first manned mission to land on the moon. Launched on July 16, 1969, the mission consisted of the spacecraft, a lunar module called Eagle, and a command module called Columbia. The Eagle landed on the moon on July 20th with astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin becoming the first humans to set foot on the lunar surface. The astronauts spent about two and a half hours on the moon collecting samples and conducting experiments. They then returned to the Eagle and lifted off from the moon, rendezvousing with the Columbia in lunar orbit. The Apollo 11 mission was a huge milestone in human space exploration, paving the way for future missions to the moon and beyond. It remains one of the most famous and successful space missions in history. Thank you for watching my video on the top 10 space missions of all time. And if you guys like this video, please uh, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. It helps very small channels like myself out tremendously. And also let me know what you think uh, I'm missing on here. Obviously, there's a lot of space missions out there. So let me know what I'm missing in the comments below. Uh, please subscribe if you like this content. I'm bound to make more of it. I hope you enjoyed this look back at some of the most iconic space missions. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for space exploration.